Only on Fox, a harrowing journey for two Redondo Beach residents. A pair of siblings with dual Ukraine and U.S. citizenship are back home. Our Laura Diaz at LAX today. When they got home, Laura, you're in the South Bay now. Yes, Christine, plenty of hugs and kisses for Veronica and Tony. I met their grandmother last Sunday at church, and she's kept me up to speed on their whereabouts as they were fleeing the Ukraine. And earlier today, they landed safely at LAX. I'm so blessed to be able to sit right now here and feel like I'm home, you know. But at the same time, my heart hurts for my country. Right? And if it's ever going to be over. I feel this safe in my heart today when I arrived to LA. Hugs, tears, and the yes. Ukrainian flag at LAX Friday <laughs> as a sister and brother, refugees from the war in Ukraine, were welcomed home by their grandparents, then off to the family home in Redondo Beach. I'm so glad you made it safe. Fox 11 cameras there exclusively as the grateful siblings entered their grandparents' home. 23-year-old Veronica and 19-year-old Tony had been living in Kyiv for about a year where they have family and friends. Suddenly, war. Veronica rolled on herself, deeply emotional. The siren went on, and I went outside on the balcony. I started crying. We quickly packed. We got whatever we we could, you know, and then we left. It took eight days to make it from Kyiv to Slovakia to Poland. Traffic was jammed, gas nearly impossible to find. The siblings and their parents and a friend that they dropped off on the way. Veronica chronicled the danger on her phone. You're driving, you're thinking, oh my God, are they, are they gonna shoot us or no? I wasn't scared at all, because I need to, like, you know, be in fit because I have two women in the car with a friend, with a friend of my sister and a dog. They still have family and friends back in the war zone, but mercifully, <laughs> they made it over the border and ultimately back to the U.S. They said they will never forget the Ukrainian soldiers coming in to protect their country. I have such respect to those men to go and fight for our country. It was my main thing to protect the family. At least my uh, parents are safe, you know, so that's important, but I worry about my friends all the time, and I have a lot of friends and a lot of people I know, and I text them all the time. The siblings have deep relationships to the Ukraine. Even though they'll be here in the U.S., they plan to support their Ukrainian country as best they can from here. Laura Diaz reporting live from Redondo Beach. Now back to the studio.